I am so honored and delighted to have this opportunity to um, spend a little time sharing with my ladies, my goddesses, uh, my business, my practice, um, what it is you do. And uh, it's such an amazing gift. I've uh, followed your work for probably at least 15 years. Mm. And um, in the profession that I'm in as a helper, healer, mm -hmm. therapist, mm -hmm. have probably done about 35 years of personal growth, workshop, um, trainings, anything that I could find that would bo both be personally enriching as well as professionally. And I have to say that there's mm. really been nothing that's compared. That's a great compliment. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. So um, I just can't wait to share this with all the women and men that I serve uh, to give them an opportunity to know that I so deeply trust and respect you and what you do. Yeah, thank you all. And I want to be able to um, share that in some fashion and as like what I do, it's so much easier, better to experience and experience it mm -hmm. than describe it. Mm -hmm. But we're going to try. <laughs> we're going to do our best. <laughs> we're going to try. So if you could just share <clears throat> what it is you'd like to share. Yeah, what it is I do and have been doing for uh, uh, half of my adult life. Um, I've been doing my own awakening and healing, as you described, and attending uh, many uh, different uh, classes and workshops on how to be a better human, uh, how to be a more whole person. Uh, it was in the um, it was in the communion with other women that I found a part of myself that was lost. Mm. Uh, through my body, through movement, uh, about my sexuality, uh, about my emotions, and that I really was okay in a woman's eyes. Whereas I had struggled with uh, being uh, like men so that I could um, be with a man and I could satisfy a man. But my true nature is very female. Mm -hmm. So the permission to become myself and work with women and find the willingness in women to go beyond uh, safety zones in order to express our full potential. That has been the greatest gift in my life and so I just keep giving back. Mm. And when you said about uh, safe zones, um, this is the safest container that mm -hmm. I have ever found to explore those places where we previously felt unsafe. Yes, yes. And that's been probably the, the most important thing in being able to fully integrate and embrace what you offer is the safety. Yes that takes us out of our previous safety. Yes, into a bigger safety, bigger safety. a yeah. universal safety, and the fact that we create our own cocoon of safety. Uh, and if we know we have people around us who are weaving that cocoon of safety with us, then we can further and further and further relax uh, and explore um, hidden mysteries. And the feminine is carrying a lot of hidden mystery. And we express it through movement, we express it through dance, we express it through our sensuality. But so often it hasn't been safe. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the number one factor for me in bringing my work to uh, men and women is really creating safety. Mm -hmm. So we can look at things that have been um, a little edgy in the past, or uh, especially if they were being... Um, if we were being invited to look at our sexuality, let's say, uh, through the masculine, uh, though we want to understand how the masculine sees us, we really need to know how we see each other and ourselves. Mm -hmm. what, our, what sexuality really is to a woman mm -hmm. has been a very important um, uh, de-layering, de-armoring for me. Mm -hmm. And with that new understanding of who we are first, 
fully holy. Yeah. Um, I think for me the significance that potentially has if we spread the word, get this in, in people's lives more thoroughly, what the difference can be in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it, um, it helps us, first of all, release the fears that we're all carrying around about being so delicious as women and what could happen. And aren't we? If we let it show. <laughs> and we so are delicious. Oh, my God. Oh, my goddess. <laughs> yes. As I sit here next to Alana mm -hmm. and um, the beautiful women that have been with us this week, I, I more deeply know my own beauty. And that's not always been easy to refer to. Mm -hmm. because of the paradigm uh, that it's better to not be enough than to be more than enough. Mm -hmm. So that's all shifting now as we women are really getting out there with who we are. Um, the fact that we can uh, now explore through education and experience uh, a deeper intimacy with one another, with our daughters, with our aunties, with our mothers, mm -hmm. with our girlfriends. Mm -hmm. And and women are by and large very, very intimate with each other, go there very easily. Mm -hmm. But there are areas that we have avoided. I mean, yes, we can talk about sex easily, but do we talk about our sensitivities to our sexuality and honor them and learn how to communicate them, not only to each other, but to the men in our lives mm -hmm. in a way that is empowering and uh, honest and clear. Mm -hmm. You were mentioning about the mother, daughter, potential sisters, uh, and then we'll talk about the men in, in a minute, because we like them too, you don't love we? them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you have had quite a few mother, daughter, mm -hmm. sisters, literally. Real sisters real, and real mothers real and daughters who have explored and work. studied. Studied the work, first of all. Their minds from the education have told them Let's let's go further with this. Let's uh, let's really deepen and eliminate every barrier between us as a mom and a daughter, or as two sisters. Mm -hmm. uh, let's let's hold each other's hands and really explore. And that has been the greatest healing for me as a, as an educator and a guide, mm -hmm. is being around women. In, in families willing to go beyond the separation that mm -hmm. so often lives between two people who love each other more than anyone else. Mm -hmm. There's still all these safe boundaries that we feel we have to keep. And we do. Mm -hmm. But I have been able to experience a way through those boundaries into a, a bigger safety, mm -hmm. as I mentioned earlier, right. and, and intimacy. And the physical, spiritual, sacred, sensual aspect um, has been so lost, mm -hmm. not only within ourselves as women, but how our society has decided we can then share it with men. So I want to ask you a little bit about um, how you've experienced men that show up for this. Mm -hmm. Uh, so far, not enough men, so we're, we're inviting men mm -hmm. to come and partake in your ability to bring to women a deep healing that has been missing for so long. Mm -hmm. Now, women in this work are also bringing this deep healing to one another. And in ancient cultures, that was very uh, acceptable mm -hmm. and, and very uh, alive. Um, the midwife was born out of ancient cultures because she helped women, a woman birth her children. Mm -hmm. And so there's great intimacy in that. Well, what I'm finding now that both men and women are able to do for women is to help us birth the unborn parts of ourselves. Oh, mm, beautiful. Absolutely. And those unborn parts are only now just being acknowledged and recognized. Mm -hmm. And we're realizing, God, there's still a way to go. And it's not just healing with women that I need to do, it's healing with men. So the brothers, uh, mm -hmm. the husbands, the lovers, 
of your of the sisters, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the boyfriends um, that are invited in by the women to please come and study this work with mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And with me, let's bring a new aliveness to my girlfriends, mm -hmm. to my sisters, whom mm -hmm. I adore. Mm -hmm. So is there anything else that you would like to add to that? You know, what comes to mind for me is the, once you start with education and you satisfy the mind to know what's possible and what is so, then we can go into experiences mm. uh, that uh, can teach us through visceral experience what uh, our minds were previously learning in class. Mm -hmm. But education has been uh, the, the missing piece in most cultures in order for the culture and the people in the culture to advance. Mm -hmm. So I would call myself first and foremost an educator mm -hmm. and that this is an education in conscious loving, healing and awakening. Mm. And what I'd like to say is those of you who know me personally uh, through my work as a therapist or through my work as a sacred movement fitness person um, that you know that what I've brought probably more than anything is safety and safety in the sense of really accessing that disowned aspect of ourselves which is our sensuality and I have really known that my role uh, was to shift from that basis, which I feel has been very beneficial, to this next level mm -hmm. that you are offering and that I really welcome and could not endorse more highly because it is a not just a pearl or a gem, it's the mother load. That about says it. <laughs> and a woman does say it like it is. You know, so that was very beautiful, Alana, thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I feel a great alliance with you mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. who we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs>